Hello, my name is Gary Simmons and I've installed the Viking 130 engine onto my Xena 750. And this video is about filling the coolant system. If you've watched the Home Build Help installation videos, you probably saw that on that particular engine there was an access port uh, that enabled you to pour coolant into and fill your system. If you have a newer model engine, that port is no longer um, there and instead I'm going to be talking about how to uh, be able to go ahead and fill your entire coolant system without that port. I'll also uh, suggest that you get two gallons of coolant as according to Jan it might take approximately six quarts especially if you have your own heater and that needs to be filled as well. You might have located the RV instruction video on the installation of that uh, of the Viking 130 motor onto that airplane and in that video, uh, the port that is, um, uh, was mounted on the top here in the home built video is not there. And so Jan suggests that you can split the radiator hose coupling at, at this joint here and pour uh, coolant into, uh, into that tube and begin to fill it this way. In a follow up conversation with Jan, uh, we discussed uh, a better way, and that is to remove this clamp on this hose and loosen this one up and what we're going to do is we're going to pull the 90 degree hose off this coupling and then we're going to put a funnel in it. We're going to rotate this up, put a funnel in this. I'll dem demonstrate that right now. First I'll loosen this clamp a bit. And then what I'm going to also do is I'm going to before I move anything, I'm going to stabilize this particular uh, tube so it doesn't fall down in this direction. There we go. Now I'll go ahead and take this clamp back, pull this off, and twist the tube. Now. We'll go ahead and put the funnel here, and as, as you can see, filling it at this, uh, at this height, we're a bit higher than filling it here, and so this ensures that the coolant goes all the way in, down into the radiator, and up into the cylinder heads. Now to fill it in the opposite way, to fill it uh, through this particular coupling first, uh, it would drain down so far as the thermostat and then it wouldn't get into the cylinder head. So we're, we're filling it this way and then once we, once we have um, as much coolant in as possible we'll go ahead and um, reconnect. Okay so be sure and uh, check for any leaks that, uh, all throughout your system. Just check at the couplings and at your uh, joints on your hoses and then check radiator for any leaks um, and also you can fill your reservoir and, and when you do your first start you can warm up the engine and draw into the cooling system whatever is needed so it fills it, it up. Finally you want it to end up just a little bit above the bottom line as per instructions on the home built help video. That's it. Good luck.